Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the last video. Is it obviously a little bit somber? Um, and just felt it was right to end it the way we did rather than going back to the kind of jolliness and everything. Uh, we're actually still in Ypres or Ypres. Uh, so we're going to be doing a few fun things today amongst with the jobs. Uh, we've got a bit of work to do. Um, before we do that though, we want to say a few thank yous and hellos. So as far as like, you know, people that are commenting and really taking part, we you know, really, really appreciate it. So thanks Nova, uh, Tommy, Phil, all the way down in Australia. Uh, no worries, Nomad. Not sure your real name, but that's a cracking title. Isn't it Anzac? Oh, it's Anzac today as well. So happy Memorial Anzac Day today, Phil. Um, and hello to... Adam and Gary. Who are subscribers, but are also the boyfriend and the boyfriend's dad of Leslie's niece, Emily. Yeah. So hello, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, so yeah, we're going to get on today and do a few things around Ypres. Uh, tonight we're going to stay near the um, nine, Passchendaele 1917 Memorial. It's all about World War One. It's got trenches, all that kind of stuff. Going to stay there, and we're going to visit there. Have a long, good day there tomorrow. After that, we're going to Bruges. Mm. Beautiful Bruges. We've been there before uh, with the kids, but with an Airbnb. So it's, we're looking forward to going again. Absolutely stunning. So we we'll get some jobs done now. And we'll see you around Ypres and 1917 and definitely Bruges. So we found the laundrette. Half right outside this. We're not used to using laundress, so there's a task in itself anyway. It's been a while. Uh, and then uh, it's all going to be in a different language, which is going to be an even bigger task. Yeah, pretty big, isn't they? Um, maybe. Maybe try Ooh. Ooh. I'm not sure what that smoke, some of that smoke is to be fair. Let's have a look then. Anybody translate that for us? That would be yeah, awesome. Can translate the oh yeah. Uh, it's not a bad price is it actually. That's well cheaper than the Revolution ones. Yeah. Well cheaper. And we're definitely, definitely going to make full use of this. Good one, jackpot. I come here every day and put some money in there. So do you get your... You get, you get 27 and you get um, your rose out of that. Would you get all your kind of... Stuff in it as well, powders and well, I've got powder, so oh, okay. But I think that's what that vending machine would be Oh, yeah, which is empty. So, we find that some of these places we've only used a couple, we've seen lots of others using them on YouTube that have Wi Fi as well, nice seating areas. And unfortunately, this one hasn't, it's just kind of a drop and go place. But because we're parked outside, what we can do, we can go back into the motorhome just outside. Um, James is going to get on with his schoolwork, which he's already doing now. Les will be able to help Issa with some schoolwork. I'll be able to get some of my work done. Um, uh, just sat there while the washing's doing. Come back in the glaze, get it, and then uh, off we go. All done, are we? Mm-hmm. Well, dry in there, yeah? Does it all seem all right, does it, yeah? yeah. I just found something out as well, the car seat. Lisa can actually go in a booster from the age of four or one meter. Oh really? Yeah, so we could turn that car seat into a booster. Oh, yeah, yeah, much better. Just as long as it feels safe for her. Mm. The dryers are a lot bigger, aren't they? Um, well, bigger than bigger than that one's down there, that's for sure. Yeah, we need to air it, don't we? Yeah. And if you're ever wondering what happens with lost socks and stuff, uh, if it's just you, no, it happens in this country as well. <laughs> and they put them on coat hooks just in case you need your knickers or your socks the next time you come back. <laughs> Imagine that, losing your knickers and somebody's hanging them up there for you the next time you come in. 
Well, I've just come back into the van from the, uh, doing the, the laundry with Leslie and found this. What did she use to dry it, James? The dog's tail. The dog's tail. Okay, so we'll do some more drying, washing and drying in a minute. But well done, Isa. Very good job. Thank you. I was helping mum. It was helping mum, yeah. Washes. Yeah, well, clean the dishes. Clean the dishes. <laughs> I'll help him up clean the dishes. Well done, darling. Well, the good news is this laundry gets even better. It's got a tap. I think that might be an electrical hook-up point, actually, but we don't need electric. But it's got a tap so we can get the motor home filled up with some water. Free as well. What a laundry. All right, so that's another job done. So while uh, all the washing's drying at the moment, we've just put 75 litres of water into the motor home. We've we'll filled up the uh, toilet flusher with, I don't know, 40, 50 litres, I think it is. Uh, which means, again, we don't have to go to campsites now. Uh, the water's there, the toilet flush is there, everything like that. Uh, so it's all about kind of doing as, as much as you can to stay off grid for as long as you can. Uh, we've got the, everything's charged up. So you should easily be able to do three, four days now without any kind of need for anything. Um, and this water's free. So again, if we need water in two or three days time, there's loads of places to get water from. Loads of places. This is Europe, not the UK. If you're talking UK, it's a whole different story. But if we cross Europe, they're just set up for motorhomes, for, for camper vans, for travelers. Um, they do want to make things easier for you because they know you bring money into the area. You know, we've just spent 20 euros on the, on the laundrette um, and you know, when we're at other free campsites, we'll we'll go into shops as well, put some money into their economy, because we need to buy stuff anyway. So it's really set really well set up for for motorhoming, for for van life uh, over in Europe. The next job is a bit of shopping. Um, got some washing drying out while we're driving. Um, in the back as well because tumble dry wasn't actually that good. Uh, so let's have a look see. Leslie's on her way back, not yet. We'll have a look. Yeah. When, uh, how are you speaking? Um, so when Leslie's back, we'll have a look on the Aldi price check for Belgium versus France and versus uh, uh, UK. Your birthday? No, tomorrow. Just about 360 days. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> What's the price check, babe? What's the price check? Anything of course, but you're Bordeaux. <laughs> What's the price check? Three ninety nine. Oh, but it is. Oh, oh, that's a good one. There's okay then. One. What's the rest of the stuff like? So twenty six euros fifteen. Yeah. What? Yeah, I've got yogurt. I've got you some hummusy, Sam. Ooh. Greek yeah. yogurt. You Greek like Greek yogurt, yogurt don't they? Yeah. Chicken, bread. Yogurt, cheese, some milk. Can't seem to find any um, what? fresh What's milk. What's that? What is that? Cheese. Is that brie? Brie, <gasps> yeah. Tiger bread. Ooh. Look at this. I've got the eagle eyed amongst you. You'll notice that Issa hasn't got her car seat. She's got a booster. She's been promoted to being big girl. Honey. Honey? Okay. Breadsticks. Okay. Big bread. Crackers. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Ginger. Ham. Um, more ham. That's chicken, darling. Chicken bread. And chicken. 26 euros 15. Wow. Feel like I've just and been... the bag. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> And we've got and a bag, bag, yeah? Yeah, brilliant. Bag <laughs> and <the> bag <laughs> well, I guess uh, let's get the Bordeaux open. Are we staying on this car park tonight? Let's move the car. Move, move <laughs> the motor home. Let's get the Bordeaux open then. And it'll make life feel a bit better. What's going on, Easter? I'm going to do Lego. I'm doing Lego. We're going to have a go. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to open it. It's the miner, isn't it? So we've got the table out for the first time on the travels. Well done. Got the table out for the first time on the travels, and we're going to do the Lego. What's happening in the front? 
James is having his school work, his assignment reviewed by mother, just to give him a bit of support and help. And we've got a new little washing hanging up over the curtain pole. Thank you, Dean. Well done. Let's have a look at it then. And that's part of the raft, is it? Have a look. And where's the stairs? Ah, look, that's the living part on top of the raft. Mm. The bedroom underneath? Yeah. So we parked up tonight on a free car park. And it's the car park for the museum that we're going to go to tomorrow. And you can actually walk around the grounds. Um, that's what we're doing now, just taking the dog for a walk. Having a walk around the grounds. Checking it out for tomorrow. Beautiful. Yeah, look at this over here. This is a park up. No, there's no services here as such, but it's, it's a free park up. And it's ready for the museum tomorrow. Roll out of bed. Get changed first. And uh, straight to the museum. This is the um, museum for Belgium for Passchendaele 1917. And I've seen some stuff on YouTube about it. And it's got um, the trenches and all the all original stuff from the area that was included. That was, that was included. It was part of the war, part of the First World War. So that's really going to be very interesting. So go and have a look at that to see how the, how the soldiers lived and what they were up against. So babe, what do you reckon to van life so far in these kind of places here? Yeah, it's cool. This is a really lovely park up actually. I wasn't sure what to expect when we were driving in because I was um, still aghast at the amount of uh, <laughs> that the shopping had just passed me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, now we're here and we're having a walk around. It's really, really pretty. Yeah. Quiet, isn't it? Peaceful? Well, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I've been in the water. So yeah, it's really nice. Looking forward to going in to the museum tomorrow and yeah. having a look around there. There's no bikes a lot. But yeah, that makes it pretty cool. Yeah. Except for the shopping cost. Except for the cost of the uh, shopping, you're right, yeah. yeah. Can't even go to our own. <laughs> 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 well, we can, uh, yeah, we've, we've done Aldi. We need to do Lidl. Yeah, we need to go to Lidl. Yeah. We need to go to, to be fair, I mean, they, are, all right, they have some pretty basic rubbish food, but they have some nice food, like the cheeses yeah, and the, the things cheese. like that are really nice from there. The cheese is less expensive here than what it is in France, but still more expensive than the UK and more expensive than Spain for what we've experienced. Yeah, yeah. Being there. Yeah. Um, I don't think anything's going to come a comparison to how cheap Spain is, is it? So... Two hands, Isla. Two hands. Yeah, we need to... Yeah. We haven't even seen one, have we? It's uh, an Aldi's everywhere. Uh, no, no, I haven't seen one, actually. Sorry, I, haven't, I, I tell you what I haven't seen either. is a McDonald's in every island and yeah, every corner. Nice, actually, yeah. But we, we are only sort of the second town in in Belgium, and they've both only been small towns. So yeah. we'll go to Bruce. Hello. And, yeah. And Hi, yeah, baby. Yeah. Then we'll probably come across to the supermarkets and stuff then. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of, we're, we're not in Ypres anymore, we're in, I can't even remember to say it. Well, no, we're not in Passchendaele. Passchendaele is like the part of Zoned, Zonedbra, which yeah. is about five or six miles from Ypres. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just, it's just still, well, yeah, not really <laughs> to be I think I'm right, I don't know. Probably wrong. I don't know. Are you sure I'm right? I mean, <laughs> we're in Zoned, Zonedbra. Right. Oh, okay, really? I'm going to cut the video. Cut the video anyway. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. We're really into this van life video and stuff. So, so far, Craig's been right on a handful of occasions. But as the time goes They've always by, been on video. As the time Let's goes by, go to and we get more and more videos, you'll see how wrong, how often he actually is. <laughs> they'll, they'll, you'll never see them on video. We were in Passendale. That's when I went into that okay. Oh, yeah. And that was <laughs> expensive. That wasn't okay. <laughs> I believe I'm it dying, dying to get on video. Hello. So, can someone <laughs> tell me, can you get fresh milk in Belgium? Yeah. So no, I'm far, not saying yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, good good question. So far, I've not been, not seen any. No. It's all been um, 
UH2, yeah, UH2, no. yeah, that's it. I mean, to be fair, we kind of drink, drink, we drink oat, oat milk, don't we? But not on a cereal, not on the cereal. Imagine. The kids don't drink oat milk, but we have oat milk. But yeah. you can get. And yeah. I drink. But fresh milk seems to be. And I drink just milk. Just milk, yeah. Fresh milk, milk seems to be a difficult one to find. Yeah, yeah. Maybe again, maybe it's the biggest supermarket because we haven't been to any big supermarkets. But how easy is Jack Daniels to find? 17 minutes. Well, we'd better, I'll tell you what. Oh, I'm going to get on the border before. Oh dear. The I'll night's over. You have to stick, stick, to, the to, stick to the expensive uh, border. I did find some Skittles though, which just completely made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles? Skittles. What? I know. Mum is joking. What? I know. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Well, I tell you what, great night's sleep. <clears throat> 25 to 9 when we woke up. Um, we have to ask ourselves a question really, is this the best free park up for van life in Europe? Because, I mean, yeah, it's something they, they turned up like, check the wheels on that one. They turned up late last night. Um, but it's fantastic. You just wake up in the morning, you've got these walks around you. Such, so quiet at night because well, it's the car park of a memorial museum. So there's no comings and goings of anybody. After probably, I think it was about half past five last night, car park was empty. <coughs> um, and it's just such beautiful surroundings, you know, for you to have ac access to for, for free. All right, there's no services, but if you turn up here with all your water um, and your, and your everything charged and your, your toilet's empty, then it's absolutely fine. I noticed a comment on um, on our social media page on Facebook that actually they got free e-bike charging here as well. I haven't seen that because I haven't looked because we haven't got any e-bikes, but if that's true, then that's that's fantastic as well. Uh, so, great park up. Just taking the dog for a walk. Um, where is she? There she is, having a sniff. Um, there's lots of little ponds around here. So, there's lots of ducks and smells of the ducks around. She's got a really high prey drive. So any kind of smell like that sends her into her overdrive, which is great because it ties her out. All that sniffing, sniff, 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 means a uh, little doggy gets tired out. We stop, okay. So we're gonna go in here today anyway. We had a bit of research on it yesterday. Um, there are trenches for us to go down. I don't know if you can see in the background just there. Uh, in, woo dog keep still just there in red red sticks little garden area and they're kind of meant to be like poppies so we're gonna have a really good investigate later today and uh, we'll show you around it as well see you soon and here's one of the uh, one of the gardens I was just pointing out all the uh, red fencing sticks around that symbolize the poppies this is the one for United Kingdom. Okay. Uh, but all over, you see them all over the place. So we've got from Belgium there, uh, United States down there, Australia, just over there you've got Canada. Um, there's a New Zealand area in Australia. There's one through there I haven't looked at yet. I'm going to have a look at that in a minute. Uh, but it is such a, such a beautiful place. Such a beautiful place. And this is a memorial garden for the fallen German soldiers. And you have to remember that just because they were German soldiers does not believe, mean they believed in the war and they believed in all the killing. Um, in fact, the vast majority didn't, but they were soldiers. They had orders. They had to do what they were told to do, regardless of whether they believed in it or not. And uh, consequences were of not doing, not following the orders, were greater than... Uh, greater than obviously if, if, if they'd have actually gone against the orders. Um, it wasn't just them, their own lives that were putting at risk. It was their families as well. Their families were threatened. So you know, the majority of German soldiers had to follow the orders regardless, which is a shame. And just here, you've got um, a nature reserve lookout 
can't speak this language, but as you can see there are all the different um, insects, animals, uh, plants, the bird kingfishers that you can see. And if we go through here, there's a bench there we can have a sit on. And you can look out there and just watch, watch life go by, watch nature happen. The other thing you have to realise as well is a lot of these ponds here, they're not man-made. Well, they are, but they're man-made from the bombs, they're craters that they've turned into well, something beautiful. The noise down there, they're actually cleaning out the Belgium Memorial Garden down there. But the grounds here are absolutely huge, huge. The dog is in heaven. So we're in the chateau now and there's audio guides for us but they've actually got a special audio guides for the little ones to make it a little bit more interactive and easier and simpler to understand for them how cool is that it's a really really great place to visit in the museum just uh, we've done a lot of footage in there so if you want to see everything about that music well not everything but a lot more about the museum we've done a separate video at the end of this video there's a little link in a, in a a little rectangle um, and uh, just click that and you'll be able to see the rest of it. Now if you do want to come to this area uh, there are some like really cool shops. There's lots of like bistros up there, uh, shops up there, stuff like that. Well I've just been told to go in here because apparently it's nice. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow, flipping it. Now I haven't looked at the prices yet but Ooh, very interesting. James has just come out and said, Dad, go inside and have a look. And I can see why. Wow, lots of nice fresh choices here. No frozen foods here, babe. <laughs> no frozen cheap foods here. It's no. nice, doesn't it? No, but look what I've just got. Oh, I'm going to go again. Check that in, Mr. Well. And what I'm going to get. Wow, look at that for a donut. Like the staple diet, we're just going to keep us going. Perfect. Yeah. What's and that? A with mango. And, and a cotton with mango. Oh my word. James is going to have this. How about having this for a local shop? Oh, what's this? That. <laughs> what's this? Uh, it looks like a vanilla flan. No, what's this? Vanilla flan. Okay, this has been interesting. Let's have a look at the price of the wine. Uh, not quite one euro ninety nine. <laughs> so maybe tonight we're going to be wine free. <laughs> yes, darling. What you found? Sausage. Wow. Well, yeah. Oh look, chorizo. You like chorizo? Oh, no, actually, that's first. First, which is German sausage. It looks very similar to Greek, so. Wow, this is a nice place. <laughs> yeah, I think we're wine free tonight. <laughs> no, not wine free, just get it somewhere else, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's a really nice shop, actually, because we've still got two kids with us, and they gave them sweets. Easter to sharing, if you're not best pleased. James straight in his mouth. I'm hungry. <laughs> it was. It was. It's, How was that? It's hell. Like, it's caramel and coffee. It felt quite hard. I thought oh, I'm not gonna go there. Mm, it's really good. We get sweet tea. Can you take the dog? <laughs> well, it's Is that like, nice, Isa? It's like mousse. It's hard on your teeth. Caramel. It's like mousse and caramel. Yeah. But then it's also like. A milkish hazelnut chocolate. Okay. Very good. That's everything you ever wanted in one go. The British Cemetery where? Off to the left. Okay. It is really nice actually. It wasn't actually that expensive in there just except for the wine. <laughs> With the puddings, desserts, whatever you want to call them. Lovely. Actual proper fresh milk. Found fresh milk. Yep. And there's some. Hello. Thank you. Been to another shop. 
spoke German to them, got what we needed. I think she spoke French. <laughs> well, we got German, and she, she understood. Hello, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, the German's working. Well done, Julingo. Um, all I need to do now is find somebody who has an elephant who doesn't like the zoo because it's cold. And uh, Julingo would have really done his job. Yeah, I don't understand what Julingo does sometimes. I know, it's it's thinks weird. random stuff, doesn't it? It's but, weird. yeah. So we're back in the motorhome now. Wine's been opened. Let it breathe, ready for later. Hi. James is just chilling out. He's naked. Mm -hmm. And Leslie's doing the tea. What is it, babe? Some meatballs and pasta? Spaghetti meatballs. Tea batter. Something we haven't had in ages. Spaghetti meatballs and what? Tea batter? Tea batter. Uh, Easter, tea what, batter. What's Easter doing? She's down there, is she? Okay. So, ooh, somebody else. We've got new neighbours turning up as well. Hey, it's a fantastic park up. So, we're going to, um, in fact, the plans have changed. They'll probably change again this evening. But I don't think we're going to Bruges now. What? I think we're going to Ghent. Straight to Ghent. Because Ghent and Bruges are the same. And we've been, well, they're not the same, but, you know, similar. And we've been to Bruges before. As so, long as I get my Belgian chocolate. Yeah, you get Belgian chocolate down the local shop. Yeah. You yeah. get Belgian chocolate in the UK. Yeah, but it's not good. <laughs> so we think plans might have changed for the moment. Um, but we think they'll probably change again when we wake up. But so we'll we'll let you know. Yeah, we're going somewhere in Belgium. It could be Ghent, it could be Bruges, it could be Germany, which is on the edge of Belgium. Could Belgium. Could... Antwerp? It's not in Belgium, is it? Is it? Not? Is it? That's a question. Antwerp, Belgium, or Holland? Well, Netherlands. I thought it was. Yeah, I think it is Belgium actually. <laughs> I don't know. Better look that one up before we um. Yeah, upset the uh, Belgique or the uh, Dutch. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow because we're going to relax now and have some fun and um, play some Lego and stuff like that and uh, plan where we're going to go and not going to go. <laughs> you just looked it up. It is in Belgium. So he's so, not right all the time. So, so I'm coming on video to admit I'm not right every single time. I admit that you were wrong. Really? So I've been for five years. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not admitting I was wrong. I'm saying I wasn't right. Okay, that's the exact same thing. <laughs> no, it's not. Is it not? No, no, no. Anyway, we're going somewhere in Belgium or somewhere in the Netherlands, and we're not going to name it in case we don't know really what country it's in. But we'll see you definitely tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's from a nice sunny Belgium. So today, uh, today's going to be the last day that we do any uh, kind of war stuff and military stuff for a while. Um, and what we want to do is we want to finish it by going to uh, Tying Cot yeah, there, Cemetery. So we'll show you a few things around here, uh, have a look. Um, and then we'll, after that we'll talk to you about what we're going to do because plans have changed again. <coughs> and we're going to see what we're going to do. So we'll, we'll see you in the cemetery. Okay, so we just visited Tyne Cot Cemetery. Uh, you see the video I took on the way in, but I just didn't feel it was really 
respectful enough to kind of go around filming uh, gravestones. I know I've seen like lots of people do it, but it just didn't feel just right. Didn't feel right to film no, that. I mean it's a beautiful and peaceful place. Obviously, that's not what it came from, but it's nice to see the somewhere to to remember. Um, I think it is a beautiful place, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's sad because obviously that many people lost their lives and so young as well yeah. and in such horrible circumstances but it's nice that there's somewhere that you can go and pay your respects to them and that's it you know some remembrance for them there that's it so we're going to have some motor home now we have some food and work out a plan of what's happening next oh well thanks for watching the video and bearing with us while we decided where the hell we were going <laughs> <laughs> we have decided on Ghent. We've just got the directions in. Um, there's a little campsite on the way. Well, not a park, a campsite, an air on the way where we're just going to empty the grey water, uh, top up on the fresh water, empty the toilet. James has got his job. Uh, they're both quiet at the moment, so we're going to get underway as food. quick as we can. Uh, yeah, everybody's well fed. fed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you haven't, Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. Um, anything else? No. Buy us a coffee. Buy us a coffee. <laughs> have, <laughs> have a great few days without us. And we'll see you in the glorious Ghent.